Piqueros outfielder Henry Fuentes grew up in Brooklyn, New York. He says he's adjusted to life and baseball in the Southwest. It's different, but I like it. I like the scenery. I wake up in the morning, see the mountains. It's just like a postcard to me. It just looks like a picture. Like everyone else on the Vaqueros, he pictures himself moving up in the minor league ranks, but believes baseball is here to stay in Las Cruces. Oh, it definitely was a success. You know, the fan turnout was great. The support from everybody in Las Cruces was just amazing. Teammate Brandon Kelly agrees. We got really good support from the community. I've got nothing uh, but good comments from everyone I've talked to. You know, people come up to us all the time and say hello and want to do nice things for us. The regular season is over now. The team focuses on a best of three game championship against Big Ben in Alpine, Texas. The championship series against Big Ben should be a good one. Both teams finished the season with a record of 32 and 15. And in head to head matchups, they split 8 to 8. Manager Bobby Brown says the Vaqueros have a good shot at winning because of their strong bullpen. In, this, in these short series, it always comes down, It seems to always come down to the same thing, pitching and defense. After the series, the Continental Baseball League the two teams play in will fold. However, the Vaqueros will join a larger league, the Pecos League, next year. Manager Bobby Brown believes the team has a bright future. I think every year that baseball's here in Las Cruces, it will be better and better each year. Henry Fuentes isn't sure where he'll be playing next year, but was glad to be a part of the Vaqueros' first season. You can just tell everybody's excited in, in the community, so everybody really supports the team. So I can see that really growing into something special. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.